Let's take a look of question number four. It says that we have an airplane. It flew for eight hours at an airspeed of x mile per hour, and then another seven more hours at a speed of three hundred twenty-five mile per hour. And it says that if the average speed of the entire flight was three hundred fifty miles per hour, which of the following equations、uh, could be used to solve for x? So,、uh, let me just draw some picture to illustrate what's going on. First of all. I have my airplane like this, and it's going right, flying. Let's say going this way, and it says it flew for eight hours. So let me just make some notes. This is eight hours, and the speed is x mile per hour. X mile per hour. This is just about、uh, the first part of the trip, and then the second part. Okay, so another you know another picture of the same airplane. So the second part, it says that we have seven hours, seven more hours, at a speed of two hundred twenty-five. So in this case, this part we know is two hundred twenty-five mile per hour. So this is the first part, and that's the second part. And altogether, let's take a look. So altogether, we traveled for eight hours here, and then seven hours here. So that would be a total of. The total time will be fifteen hours, right? And it says that the average air speed of the entire trip was three hundred fifty. So I'll write down average speed is equal to three hundred fifty miles per hour. So here we have three hundred fifty. And let me just bring this up a little bit. Three hundred fifty mile per hour. So with these pictures, let's illustrate what's going on in the question. So we have speed, we have time. We must use one of the formulas that we know. Note,、um, if we have time times the speed, this will give us the distance. Okay, because that's one thing that they didn't mention in the question. But if we have the time and the speed, if we multiply time and speed together. So for the first part, if we multiply eight and x together, then that will be the distance. The distance for the first trip it will be eight x、uh, miles. And for the second part of the trip, it will be seven times three hundred twenty-five. So again, this part will be the distance is equal to seven. And let me use the parentheses for multiplication. Seven times three hundred twenty-five. Okay, and also we have the、uh, total time is fifteen hours. The average speed is three hundred fifty. So altogether, all this, um, the distance. I will just say the total distance will be fifteen times three hundred fifty. So with this picture, what conclusion can we draw? Well. This is the first part, and that's the second part. These two parts together must add up to the total distance, which is this, right? So,、uh, pretty much I can just say that we,、uh, not the answer. I just say we must have. Okay, we must have the following. When we have a x plus seven times three twenty five, we must have this is equal to fifteen times. Ah,、uh, three fifty, fifteen times, three fifty. So this is the equation that we can use to solve for x, right? Because this distance plus that distance has to equal to the entire trip, the entire distance. Ah,、uh, let me see. I have a x, a x plus um seven times three twenty five, which is is answer choice B. Oops, no, 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 a x. Plus seven twenty seven times is、uh, this one. Answer choice E. So be really careful when you select your、um, answers because a lot of these multiple choices, their、um, answer choices, they all look similar. <laughs> okay, so just make sure that you pick the right one. So A X plus seven times three twenty five is equal to fifteen times three fifty.